All right, I'm going to do a video. Um, I finally got some of the bulbs that Professor Physics uh, has been using, and I'm going to test. I've got three of them in there. Um, you can see, let me scoot the, yeah, one, two, three. And that's in the position I calibrated them for off AC, or ran them in off AC. And uh, Lux meter there with the lid open. Shut the lid. And, uh, alright. So I'm going to use the Radio Shack 12 volt 3 amp transformer across the 12 volt line. Resistors, we have a 330 and a 150. So 480 ohms, uh, diode on the base, 3055. Uh, then we also have um, two 10 nanofarads in parallel, so 20 nanofarads um, across the, the load. And the reason I did this, um, in playing around with these, these do have a dimmable circuit in them. Um, so they do have a driver. Similar to the Utilitech, um, they're going to have a driver chip. I don't believe it's the 4101T, um, but if you remember the first modification of the 0 .40 set or .047 right there going across the bridge diode, putting the cap there is effectively the same thing. That's the first advantage. Um, so, assumably, you could even gut those bulbs and, and increase them further doing some similar things to what I did here. Uh, however, the, the, the .22 across the across the, uh, the load there will we'll simulate the input bridge rectification mod there. So, um, yeah, and we'll run it up to 12 volts um, to give a catch up here. One bulb showed 200, this is on AC, one bulb showed 290 lux. Um, and again, I, I changed the calibrations. I was off on my estimation there. Uh, 580 lux for two bulbs. 850 lux uh, for three bulbs and uh, so what that works out to then is a calibration uh, with the three bulbs of 0.282 um, and that's 850 lux that I showed with the three bulbs okay 850 lux and professor physics had calibrated these bulbs or estimated these bulbs to be outputting approximately 80 lumens each uh, on 120 uh, so I used that a as the lumen approximation then so uh, you know the 850 divided by the three bulbs 240 uh, lumens would be a 0.282 conversion um, so we will be using that um, Yeah, let's go ahead and fire it up. I'll run it on 12 volts, as usual. Or, well, really darn close. I think 11.9. But a lot of batteries will pull down to that. I'm looking for 11.9 volts at 380 milliamps. set it in this spot it seems to be a I always set it in that spot it seems to be hard to get to all right let's see it keeps bouncing there let's get to a solid 38 there okay that's what I was looking for 11.9 volts, 380 milliamps, 1600 lux. Um, bulbs lit. Uh, so let's see what. There we go. I was gonna say 16. Oh, with the lid open. I was like, why did that drop on lux? Okay, yeah, my lid was open. Okay, 1600 lux. 11.9 volts, 380 milliamps. So, since that repeated exact here, 11.9 uh, volts, 1600 lux, 380 milliamps, 4.52 watts, 451.2 lumens, works out to 100 uh, lumens per watt, or well, 99.8. Um, 
and then yeah if if i was to add another 25 ohms to that we actually drop oh six tenths of a lumen per watt if we added uh, you know went to full 500 from the 480 um, but yeah um, basically uh, it, it's rather interesting it's it's very close on the wattage uh, very close on the lumens per watt um, just just you know using a different transformer um, so so again I'm using the estimation uh, for, from Professor Physics for the the lumens on, on a bulb on the AC which which then establishes the calibration factor so this should be uh, you, you know using all the same stuff that that he is for establishing a lumen per watt um, and again I'm, I'm using the 80 lumens um, that, that he established that they're doing on the 120 um, and then uh, I guess something to note too here here's a just a, a pile of all the transformers that I've tried and most of these I have shown um, to operate on bulbs and they all will light bulbs to greater or lesser degrees um, and I suppose since I'm on this subject okay this is the first transformer I ever showed um, and then I was able to find out what exactly they are and get a smaller one uh, these are an R core um, and after testing a lot of these I think these would be better for multiple bulbs uh, they tend to want to draw a little higher amperage um, but are, are very bright so uh, multiple bulbs probably work better for an R core the advantage of the R core is it has no magnetic leakage no magnetic gaps electrostatic shielding balance core windings um, you can look up R core stuff there uh, the second one uh, would be a toroidal transformer um, and this would be an order of what I'd consider the best and the worst um, toroidal transformer and the R core about the only two that I would consider tunable uh, to any great degree um, then we also have um, three of another variety that would be as similar as you can get but cheaper to the R core these are called flatheads and um, uh, the, these work okay I was rather unimpressed with these uh, again they, they do have a magnetic gap um, so that hurts where the R core doesn't and then but they are balance wound uh, so it, unless you get a center tap primary if you have two independent primaries like this you know uh, you know there's a 9 volt output or 12 and there's an output then then you can't you have to run the primary on one side although you can output the secondary on both so again I didn't get as great of efficiencies with that um, and, and then of course we have uh, the two Radio Shack transformers um, and then another smaller one that I'd found uh, locally got the laser saber uh, e-core that was wound with the uh, four times opposing uh, coils the old uh, opposing coil model T that I'd shown in a video for the little Radio Shack isolation transfer audio output transformer and then the toco coil now I will say with these smaller coils their efficiencies are rather low um, however if you use a, a dual oscillator setup how I'd shown uh, where you run two of these uh, you can get these to the same lumens per watt of the larger transformers um, I didn't try with the toco though I know with this one it worked out real well to, to get the uh, lumens per watt you'd expect however uh, if we look at the E cores and, and again the Radio Shacks are all E cores too you know if we look at the the E core bulk group um, every bulb that I've ran uh, you, you're gonna get about the same lumens per watt I mean it, it you know it might be within five maybe at the max ten lumens per watt um, but but they're all gonna work fairly similar so it seems that you know again the I think the bulb is overall dominant I mean completely what's driving the efficiency of the circuit we can get a lot of cases to work but in terms of efficiency I, I think it's up to the bulb and in all cases the dimmables are going to be where you're at for getting um, better efficiency like the two watt lights of America that I tried you know they were very finicky on where they ran um, but again when you got them to run you know I got about 50 lumens per watt on any transformer that I put them on um, w w with these bulbs I, I just tried this transformer and, and played with it for a few minutes to see what I could get to and uh, so yeah um, basically I, I think that the again the largest factor I think is is the bulb uh, the, the, the circuit in the bulb determining our overall efficiency and of course we can't exceed the the lumen per watt um, of, of the of the LEDs themselves like you know for instance the utilitex are 65 lumens per watt and we got within 60 um, 
you know, within five lumens per watt of what the rated would be. Um, and we, we don't know what these Chinese bulbs are in terms of lumens per watt. Um, but yeah, you basically, if you got a 60 lumen per watt bulb, then, you know, the best we can hope for is, is achieving the 60 lumen per watt. Um, you know, if we had a 100 lumen per watt bulb, then, you know, maybe we could hit a 100 lumen per watt um, with that if we get the circuit to, to not lose much like I've done here. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I guess you can take with this what you want. Um, and, yeah, again, I'm, I'm using the 80 lumens on 120 to establish the calibration uh, and yeah I guess that's a hundred lumens per watt thanks